Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel Sun. I have another very, very special fragrance review for you today. Um, sent to me from Augie or Gus. He has a YouTube channel called Your Two Cents. He sent me this. Um, this is uh, Creed Royal Mayfair. Um, I'm doing a review on this, but I wanted to say something first. Every single review I do, it doesn't matter how expensive it is. It doesn't matter what house it comes from. If it's a $5 fragrance or a $1,000 fragrance, I'm going to be very truthful about it. And I'm not going to have any expectations or anything. I'm just going off just by the fragrance itself. So... This is the first Creed fragrance that I've reviewed. Now, I have had other Creeds before. I've had um, Aventus, and I've had Spice and Wood, and Creed is, Creed is an amazing house as far as I'm concerned. Um, but before I get on with this review and tell you the notes and what I think of it, I wanted to give a shout out to somebody. When I first came into the fragrance community, I think in June, um, I became friends with a really, really good guy and he's been really good to me. And I just got something in the mail a few minutes ago that I wanted to share with y'all. Y'all know what this is? 1996 Amen from Terry Mugler. This is the silver medal edition. I am so excited. As a matter of fact, my next review, I'm going to review this. Um, it's been discontinued, but I wanted to talk about this. A few minutes ago, I sprayed this in my room, just one little spray, about 10 minutes ago. Wow, what a beautiful smell. And I can still smell it. Just one little spray. This is going to be an awesome fragrance. I'm telling you, I am so lucky and thankful that I have this. So I wanted to give a special shout out to uh, Kyle Stevens, who the one who sent me this. What a special, what a special gift. What a special Christmas gift. And what a great guy you are, Kyle. I'm telling you, I mean, Kyle Stevens is an awesome individual. But anyway, um, on to my review of Creed Royal Mayfair. This is by Creed. This is a Eau de Parfum. Um, come out in 1936. This is what you call a bespoke fragrance. Now, a bespoke fragrance means that it was custom made specially for an individual. And this individual happened to be King Edward VIII, Duke of Windsor. Um, Creed created this specifically for him. And it was, it was called Windsor, but I think in 2010, 2011, it was reintroduced and it was called Royal Mayfair. Now, Mayfair is actually a very posh, rich part of London, and that's where that they got that name from, Mayfair. Very, very expensive district in London to live. The notes to this are British gin, Jamaican lime, Scottish Highland pine. In the heart, you got Duke of Windsor roses, and this rose was made for the Duke of Windsor. Um, in the base, you have Bohemian Orange, Canadian Cedar, and Australian Eucalyptus. Now, when I first got this from Gus or Augie, when I first sprayed it, I knew it was going to be unusual and very unique. And I wasn't sure exactly what to think about this when I first sprayed it. I think it was just the combination of the the boozy gin and the eucalyptus and the lime and the opening. Um, I did get that eucalypt 
eucalyptus in the opening, even though the eucalyptus is in the bass notes, but I still got that eucalyptus. And I thought, what a strange, unusual fragrance this is. And I wasn't sure what to think about it at first, but um, this is a pretty good size decant. This is like a two or three um, mil decant. So I've been wearing it and I've gotten to know this. And the more that I wear this, the more I'm starting to fall in love with this. This is a very, very, very classy scent. As a matter of fact, um, sometimes I like to use adjectives to describe this fragrance. And this is very refined. This is a masterpiece as far as I'm concerned, the way it's blended and all the combination of notes. Um, this is very classy, very elegant, um, very wealthy smelling. Um, it's very powerful, but it's delicate at the same time. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent and such an unusual combination of notes. But those unusual combination of notes just seem to fit so perfectly together. In the opening, I get the, the boozy gin and the lime and the eucalyptus. And when it starts to develop after about 45 minutes, you do start getting that. It's like a sweet rose. And you start getting a little bit of that woody from the Canadian cedar. I never did get too much of the orange but it is way off in the distance. But all these notes just sort of complement each other so well. And it's such an unusual blend. But the more I wear this, the more I'm in love with it. Um, this is the Eau de Parfum. The, the performance I get on this is pretty decent. I, I'm getting about nine hours longevity and about three hours... No, I'm going to take that back. I'm getting about two, two and a half hours projection, but a good solid hours of longevity on this. This is a very um, mature scent as far as I'm concerned. Anybody can wear this, but I'm thinking that probably most people, probably over 30 years old, would probably be wearing this. It's very unisex. Male or female can wear this. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love Creed. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Creed, saying that some of their fragrances are generic. And But I don't get that. I love Creed. If I could afford to have all Creed, I would, because I really love Aventus, and I really love Spice and Wood. But I think out of the Creeds that I have or had, I think this might be my favorite just because it's so unique and unusual. I, I've i never smelled anything like this before. Um, the price on this, if you go to Creed website, um, 100 mil is going to run you about $500. But um, I'll put the link in the description on FragranceNet. FragranceNet has this actually. And I think their 100 mil, I looked last night, their 100 mil you can get for 143 Now, I wouldn't pay $500 for this, for 100 mil, even though I love this fragrance. But I absolutely would pay $143 for 100 mil. I think it's definitely worth that. I wouldn't buy it personally myself, even though I love it, because I set a budget for myself. And I'm not going to spend over a certain amount of money. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to buy any fragrances for a while because um, I made my last review or my last video was talking about that. I have so many fragrances that have been sitting in the back that I'm neglecting. So I'm going to stop buying fragrances for a while. But if I had the money and I wanted to get some more fragrances... This would be one of my number one on my list to get, especially for $143. I absolutely think it's worth that. But anyway, that's it from my review. And I hope y'all got something from this. And yes, I highly recommend Creed Royal Mayfair. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. 
Um, but anyway, I hope y'all have a good day and I'll talk, talk to y'all later. Hopefully, uh, Monday is my next day off. So I'm going to be doing a review on the gift that Kyle Stevens got me. Wow. It's got that, uh, Mugler DNA from the Amen line. Absolutely. And this is going to be a powerhouse. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all later and I hope y'all have a good day. Bye.